Well, hi everyone. <laughs> How are you? I just got home. Uh, sorry, it's a little echoey in this new room here, so bear with uh, me in the audio. Well, we know me in audio. Um, so I just got home today and wanted to show off a couple things. I just received my my Cat Cups shirt from hamtactical.com. Uh, I was expecting this in the mail. But what I wasn't expecting was this little antenna here. This is the Slink Tenna by uh, Quirky QRP. Uh, just completely randomly showed up at my new address. So maybe, uh, maybe James was thinking this might be the best solution for the antenna here at the new house because uh, it's, it's not going so well. But yeah, it's a little slinky. How cool is that? All right, so let's take a little closer look at this thing now that I'm done geeking out. <laughs> this thing is cool, man. It's, it's, it's about six inches long. Got a little BNC connector here, uh, a couple hooks to hang it, and then to keep uh, the elements spread apart. Uh, I mean, it's tiny. Here's, here's a Bofang for scale. Uh, it's, it's about uh, one and a quarter Bofangs. And uh, then you just got... That comes out, and you can kind of see in there, there's like some toroids and some windings and stuff. And on the other side, you kind of see the guts. Let's see where it's connected there. But yeah, it's, it's basically, so it's, it's a 9 to 1. Yeah, it says right here. It's a 9 to 1 on an 80 through 6 meter helical dipole. We get 100 watts max. Uh, that's with sideband. If you're doing CW, it's got 50 watts max, and if you're doing digital, 25 max. It does require an antenna tuner. You need a good, like, uh, 10 to 1 antenna tuner or something. Your, your base tuner in your ICOM 7300 or something won't tune this. You need a, you need a good tuner. Uh, minimum recommended height, 5 to 8 feet. If you can get it higher, even better. And then it also comes with, you get a couple lengths of, I like that this is yellow too, uh, some nice yellow paracord. As I've done more field ops, I've wanted yellow just to, whenever you put up an antenna, people want to immediately walk into it. So having yellow paracord lets them know, hey dummy, there's an antenna here. So uh, you've got this one, this particular one here with all the, the bits and bobs on it. These three metal carabiners are what are actually gonna clip to the top and to the sides, and then these plastic jobbies, I guess, are gonna clip to the slinky to prevent it, or to, to kind of keep it from sagging like that. It goes about halfway through. The next day, <laughs> so I had to stop for Josh's live stream last night, but I uh, wanted to throw this outside and just get it up because I'm excited to have a new antenna. So um, someone was kind enough to put a bunch of hooks in the, uh, whatever this is, on my porch. Uh, so I just strung it up and we'll see what we can do. I'll show you what, what it looks like, but you know, the whole thing is quirky, so it doesn't really matter. You know, I didn't even have to use the, uh, what's it, this, all this stuff, the paracord. So like, this is your center thing and then it goes out and then you got these two little clippy jobbies that'll hold the, the, uh, slinky up, but we didn't need that in this application because it just happened to work out fantastically. So show you guys uh, what it looks like and then we'll see if we can get on the air. So I just hooked the center little ring thing on this little hook that's screwed in and then we just got the slinky going all the way down and then there's, there's just a nail here so I just hooked that there and then kind of the same thing on the other side. It's a little wonky. We're going around the beam here and then in on the other side and then there's another nail there, and uh, that's it. That's how easy it was to set up. Coax is just a little bit of, uh, oh, what is this, RG316 or 314, something like that. I got it from Pactana, so really, really thin stuff, really nice and portable. And then we're gonna run it into our G90 Go box, and that's it. So let's uh, turn on the radio, see if we can tune up and make some contacts. All right, so let's test uh, what this thing can do. We're on uh, 80 meters here. Let's see if we can tune her up. Woohoo! Got a nice tune on 80. So 
let's see if we hold the power button down. That flat line down there is the SWR. So that's uh, pretty flat across a good portion of the band. So that's pretty sweet. All right, let's hop up to 40 right in the middle of the band. Let's see if we can tune that baby up. Ooh, she's low. Let's see. Oh, yeah. And 30. Let's try 30 meters. Oh, that looks happy. Yeah, way down here. Perfect. Very nice. Let's go to 20. Already here in stations. Eh, that looks like a good place to tune. Check our SWR. Flat. It's flatlining. That's brilliant. Let's take a look at 17. Ooh, that looked good. And then she goes down. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's see, 15. Let's go in the middle of 15 somewhere. Yeah, good enough. Oh, yeah, that looks happy. Happy, happy, happy. Oh, yeah, look at that. Just a nice green line at the bottom. That's, that's hot. Very nice. We'll go to 12. Somewhere in the middle-ish. Well, that sounded happy. Happy, happy. All right, little ups and downs. A little ups and downs. Not too bad. Let's give her another tune. Who's on 12 anyway? Yeah, that's not bad. Not perfectly flat, but that's okay. I mean, 1.5 to 1 at the peaks. So, yeah, that's not bad at all. Let's go up to the phone portion of 10 meters-ish. For all you technicians out there, you can hang out and play here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's see how wide it does. 10 meters is pretty big. Let's go up a bit. Not yeah, sure. That looks good. We got a match. We got a monster match. Oh yeah. Not too shabby. And we can't test 6 meters on this radio because this radio doesn't do 6 meters. But let me grab the X5105 and we'll see what that does on 6. Alright, so here's 6 meters. The calling frequency. Oh, that looked happy. Happy, happy, happy. No line. That's great. Ooh, something there. Oh, it was way high up here and then it came down. Okay. So that's good. There's, there's where our sweet spot is. Let's go up a ways. Let's go to the FT8 region of six. Nobody's there. Oh, that's happy. Look at that. Very nice. So now you may be saying to yourself, Mike, that tune's up great, but what I want to know is, will it gent? Let's find out. I'll see if we can work North Carolina's North North Carolina QSO party. We're on 20 meters. I think I'm running 20 watts. Yep. Kilo eight, Mike Romeo Delta. Kilowatt eight, Mexico Radio Delta. Kilo eight, Mike Romeo Delta. Kilo eight, Mexico Radio Denmark. Roger, 5-9 in Texas. 5-9, Texas. <laughs> we 
<laughs> just got North Carolina. <laughs> Slinky from Texas. Oh, man. All right, it works. 100% guaranteed. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, that's fantastic. That is too cool. That is too cool for school. Let's see if we can get someone else. Kilo 8 Mike Radio Delta. Kilowatt 8 Mexico Radio Denmark. Roger, you're five seven Texas Tango X Ray. Thank you for Texas. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> a freaking slinky! I don't believe it. I do not believe it, James. <laughs> this thing is so weird. <laughs> but it's so cool. Like it's just there's a slinky on my porch and I'm making contacts with 20 watts. Like every, the band's kind of sucked today, so like the only thing I'm really hearing is this North Carolina QSO party, but it's working. He was, he was a legit 5'7 on, <laughs> I mean, it might be 10, 11 feet wide total. Like that's just, this is just crazy. Absolutely crazy. It is definitely quirky QRP. <laughs> what a neat little antenna. I mean, look at this. It's just a little... It's just a PVC tube with a 9 to 1 in it, and it works. It's a slinky. It takes, like, it took me literally about a minute to set up. Uh, just pop it out and stretch it and hang it, and you're done, man. This is cool. But another cool thing you can do with it, and uh, I haven't tried it yet, but these two ends are actually electrically connected, so if you wanted to take, like, an alligator clip and uh, embiggen it, make, give it some longer radiating elements... I suspect you'd probably have better results just because you have longer wire. Um, but, like, just how clever is this thing? This is so freaking cool. <laughs> I just got on the air, made a couple contacts in a few minutes just by having it a few feet up in the air. I mean, obviously, if it were higher, it'd be better. But, I mean, you could take this out to a park and, and do some poda with it. Uh, if you're in a compromised antenna house like I am and I still haven't figured out what I'm going to do, I can just take this out and throw it on the roof and make some contacts and at least play radio. So, man, this is cool. So, uh, as of the time I'm filming this, uh, James doesn't have any of these available right now, but I will put a link to the Quirky QRP website in the description. Uh, so check that out. And uh, he's got a bunch of other things on there that he sells too. He's got like this cool like um, counterpoise thing for a VHF, UHF, like handheld radio. Um, he's got some little keyers, I think. He, he's got he's. He's a, he's a mad scientist. Anyway, James, thank you so much for sending me this antenna. I'm going to take this out and uh, see how potable it is. Uh, but in the meantime, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up, hit the like, subscribe, share it, all that other stuff. And uh, we'll see you next time on another episode of KMRD Radio Stuff. 73, guys.